This is an introduction to Google Docs with Mr. Zoller. Now, what will we be learning today? How to access Google Docs, the basics of Google Docs, how to insert images into Google Docs, and how to share and collaborate your, with your classmates. Now, why are we learning about this? And the answer is simple. Technology is in. Now, I'm sure you're all very familiar with Google and how to access maybe your Gmail accounts at home, but Google is much more than that. And today we're going to really focus on how Google is making education a lot easier for you. And what we're going to be focusing on is how to access Google Drive from Chromebooks, as well as how to utilize Google Drive and Google Docs in the classroom. To access Google Drive, from our middle school splash page, we'll first go to Google Drive. Now, one thing to keep in mind when using Google Drive, if you have your own personal Google account like I do, is that you must log in with our school account in order to access all the features that we're going to be talking about today. So to do so, I'll simply go to sign in with a different account. I'll add my account if it is not currently there. And then log in. And for you all, it would be your student ID number at aacps.org. You will then go to the Google Apps page. Log in. For me, it's saved. However, for you, you would have to enter in your school password. Click Sign In. Now, once we have signed in, you will currently be at your Google Drive page. Now notice, I have various videos and documents and folders already in there that you probably won't have, not just yet. Now, to create a new Google Docs, we'll simply go to New, and then Google Docs. Now, one of the things you will notice immediately about Google Docs is that it looks very similar to Microsoft Word. It has a lot of the same features as Microsoft Word, but there are some awesome features that we're going to be using in class this year that I think you'll really enjoy. Now, the first thing we'll do is name our document. We will call this one Test Document. Now, one of the great things about using Google Docs is that it automatically saves your information. Now, let me give you an example. I will simply type some text and look up here. Notice how it said saving and then all changes saved in Drive. Google Docs automatically saves all of your information every three seconds, which is a great feature. Now, just like Microsoft Word, which I'm sure you're all accustomed to, you can simply change fonts by highlighting your text, clicking up here, finding something you enjoy. Okay, now if you want to change font size, it is right next to it. As well as add some other features like bolding your text, italicizing, underlining, etc. Now, what if you do, what would you like to do if you want to add an image to your Google Docs? You would simply go to insert an image. Now, one of the great things about using Google Docs is that you have a wide variety of options as to how to add an image to your document. You can upload it from, say, your personal account at school, or you can upload it from your Google Drive at school. But one of the other cool features about this is you can search for images. Now this is great if you're doing some research and you need to find a picture kind of fast, maybe you got a little bit behind, and you would simply just search for an image. Now I'll search for a wave. Now I will see various options that would appear as if I search for the image through Google. Say I like this wave. Okay. Now, it would automatically insert the image into my file, 
and there are a wide variety of features I can do with this image. I can resize it if I like. I can choose to wrap it around different text if I'm creating, say, a report that requires pictures in there, or align it. And the best way to do kind of figure out the features of Google Drive is to just insert it on your own and just play around with the features. Now, one of the last things I want to go over with you guys is the share feature of Google Drive. This is a great feature for you to use if you're doing, say, a report that has different people maybe doing different components and you want to combine all of your information into one final copy. Now, it's very important to make sure you're logged in with your school drive account because this is the only way you will have access to share with other people in your class. Now, if I want to share this test document with someone else, I would simply click on share. And one of the great features about this is that it has every single person in our county's email automatically uploaded to here. Now say I want to share a document with Ms. Clotis, another 7th grade social studies teacher. I would simply type in her name and an option would come up. Now, if I want to share it with her and someone else, I would simply click Add More People and begin typing. Say I want to share it with Ms. Akers, another 7th grade social studies teacher. I would type in her name. Now, it's very important that you know their first name as well, so you're not sharing it with someone you might not know. Simply click that. And then you can continue to add with as many more people as you like. Now, another option is to create a shareable link, where you can give this link to anyone in our county, and they would simply click the link and then they would have access to your document. And again, this is a great way to collaborate and share your information with others.